You did it. New. Okay. All right. Well, first, um, you know, the, the code was toggle, and the reason is, well, we have these toggle switches. Ew, toggle switches. So we've already toggle carried switches. the red and yellow toggle switches. toggle switches. And you might be wondering, toggle switches. Lady Ada, why did you carry red and yellow? Toggle switches. And then you went and got green, blue, toggle switches. And white. Well, there's actually a really good reason. Toggle switches. The original samples I got had toggle switches. Clear LEDs, and they were really, really bright. Toggle switches. <laughs> And uh, they were actually too Toggle bright to switches. use. So, like, they would blind you. So I actually went back to the factory and Toggle said, switches. Uh, hey, get me versions of these toggle switches, but with diffused LEDs in the ends instead of clear ones, because the red and yellow ones came with diffused. You don't want to be blinded by your switches. No, they were, like, blinding. They okay. were so bright. Uh, I can go grab later. them. Maybe I'll show them later. But okay. they, so the, them later. the new ones are nice and diffused. So this is... Um, a sample, let me back this up a little bit. So uh, I have it set up so when it's flicked on like this, uh, it's lit and then when you turn it off, it's off. Toggle switches. But you don't actually have to do it that way. You know, you can actually um, make it so the LED is always on and then you can, you know, use the toggle switch by connecting between these two pins. Anyways, um, so it's really nice. It's got this nice diffused LED at the end, which it's isn't nice blinding. Sound. It's really clicky. You can actually remove this. This is um, screwed on, so you can just remove this if you don't want this part. But it's really lovely because it's got this nice Click. LED. Clack. And I'm powering it from a coin cell, but you can actually use up to 12 volts. There's a little resistor inside, um, so you can theoretically power this up to 12 volts. It'll get brighter, but it won't like, it still won't be blinding. So this is green, so it's a nice diffuse green. And then um, I've got blue. So got that nice diffuse blue LED at the end, same deal. Uh, you can have the LED on all the time or only on when the switch is on. And then when you close the cover, it closes. So this is really great for making control panels or I don't know, something fun. And then finally we have white. So we already have uh, red and like orange yellow. So this kind of completes the, uh, the uh, collection. So this is the white diffuse LED with a clear top. And there was purple, but it was like really ugly. And there was also like carbon fiber and it was really ugly. So these are the only three that passed muster. Um, so we've got red, white, blue, and then yellow and red as well. So a nice collection of, of lit toggle switches. Yeah, there's a bunch of crappy ones out there, but you won't find them in the Adafruit store. We only have the ones that are really good. And by the way, everyone else has the, the clear LED ones for the like green, blue, and white. I actually had to custom order the diffuse type and they were like why would you want that and i'm like so it doesn't blind you to death and they're like we don't understand but okay so it took me like three months to get these versions with the diffused leds but i think it's worth the worth wait. the wait worth the wait toggle switches thank you okay um so that's toggles okay um this is fun next up we just put this in the store today super cute little led sequence we have led sequence which we've carried for a while but yes. now we have them in a, a rainbow video. pack. Look at this video. Look at this video. Look, 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 look. Beep. I have something beep, better than that. Beep, I've got a live beep, demo. Beep, beep. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's do a live demo. Let's do a live demo. They don't blink individually, but... Um, so this is red, pink, which is also a little yellow, a little orangish pink, white, uh, emerald green, and uh, bright blue. So a nice range of colors. They're very bright. Um, you can uh, sew them. Uh, for here, I just soldered them onto some wire to light them up. But they're meant to use with Gemma or um, Trinket or um, Flora or Circuit Playground for sewable use. Although, of course, you can always just solder a wire to them. If you just need a very small LED with a built-in resistor, these have resistors built in. So they're handy for little jewelry effects. I think we had um, somebody like put them in like eyelash to make it, you know, like a, a, a blinking makeup. Can you power them all from the pins on the side at the top? On like the you, side? Yeah. Well... Can it power them all from the pins on the side at the top? That I, I don't know what side top, but you can, you can power them from a GPIO pins. I'm just being lazy right now and powering them all up at once from, uh, from uh, um, the power pins. Okay. But, like, you know, if I, if I connect this to, like, Pin 13, I can like, beep. 
You know, you can you can power them from a GPIO pin. This is just pin 13 blinking. Um, but normally you'd have like one per pin, for example. Okay. All right, next up, we have less product of the design. Is it? This is the Espressive Rover. Rover. Yeah. This is, um, we just got these today. So this is the ESP32 Rover kit. It's a dev kit by Espressive for people who are developing um, with the ESP32. It's got, it's got a lot going on. Okay. So this is the back of the board, and I'll explain what you get. So this is the ESP32 module, and it's got an FCC ID on it. So they did get FCC certification uh, recently, so that's cool. So you get FCC certified module. Uh, crystal capacitors. This is an SD card slot, so you can load files on and off. There's an RGB LED. Not a NeoPixel. It's actually RGB separate. Uh, four indicator lights over here, just plain LED lights. There's an FTDI, um, FT2... It's 2232. This is uh, used as a JTAG interface, as well as a UART connection, so you can do debug and program if you want to um, program it and also use the debug capability. Um, this, I don't know what this is. This is 93C64. I think that's an I squared CE prom, I think. Uh, this is a regulator. It's got some uh, buttons. Uh, you can power it from external DC or USB, so let me just do that. And then the best part is on the back, there's a gigantic uh, 320 by 240 LED display. And when I turn this on, oh, sorry, I have to turn this on too. On and then on. Yeah, on and then on. You have to it, turn the on switch on. I know, yeah. So there's a little calculator, demo, and then uh, it has some squares. So I think it's probably an ILI 9341 compatible. Hold on, I keep not turning this on. There you go. Squares, calculator, you know, thing. Anyways, so you can um, you can use this for, it doesn't have a touch screen, but it does, you know, you can probably use um, our uh, Adafruit graphics library, ILI 9341 library. And there's also a bunch of GPIO pins. So if you want to connect to the pins over here, you can get to all the pins. So it's kind of like, a ready-to-go dev kit for like all sorts of craziness. I mean, it's it's got pins on this side and the TFT on that side, so you can make interfaces that use the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, ESP32 core is still being worked on. I think they released 1.0 of the API, but I think they're still um, going to be releasing more and more. So this is a good kit for people who want to develop uh, products or devices okay. with um, ESP IDF. And probably still work with the Arduino, sorry, the Arduino core as well. Okay. All right. No data. That was it. You did Yay. it. Yay. New products is over. Great. Okay.